Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we have the Tottenham vs Newcastle preview. Um, this is being filmed right after the uh, Premier League predictions that went out the other day. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. And then come back to this one. Of course, there was a little eye that just went past. And there's a link in the description. Before we get into this video, subscribe to the channel and smack my bell for notifications. There is consistent uploads coming. Um, on Sunday there's going to be Carabao Cup predictions coming out because there's a few tasty games there'll be eight fixtures on the screen we're speaking about them and the rest of them we give score lines obviously the previews for the Spurs games the match day predictions um, we're going to be doing it for the Champions League as well potentially Europa League and I'm going to try and get some FIFA 20 content out Tottenham Korean will be coming out so uh, if that goes well I'm going to just grind it out see if we can grow the channel so yeah subscribe to the channel if you want consistent uploads when FIFA 20 comes out I get it on the 24th so from the 24th onwards. Um, yeah, so Tottenham versus Newcastle. So Newcastle um, haven't really looked too good on the opening two days. They lost to Arsenal. I thought they played okay there, but um, on the weekend, just gone, they got smashed by Norwich 3 1. Um, Timu Puki got a hat trick. Um, and they're really, I don't think they're going to do well this season. Um, I said it in the hour long video that we've done, I, I think they're going to get relegated and it was proven the results. I was going to say no, I don't think you're going to get anything out of the season Newcastle fans, if there is any you're watching. I think you're fucking atrocious and um, with Steve Bruce in charge, unless he goes, you can fuck off out of the Premier League. Your team's atrocious, you lost Perez, you lost Rondon, you, Joel Linton's fucking shit, Andy Carroll's fucking shit, John Joe Shelby fucking shit. Paul Dummett, the Bravka, really good goalkeeper. I don't care if I'm offending any Newcastle fans right now. Fuck the lot of you. Tottenham on the other hand, I'm going to be full of praise. Um, we beat Aston Villa 3-1 and then we got a, some say, undeserved draw against Man City. But, you know, we we done what we had to do to get the point out that yet he had and I'll take it. The game's done and dusted, we move forward in the season. I don't know the actual team news yet, but we've got Human Son back, Eric Dyer should be back fit. Ben Davies could be back in the team because he's in the Wales squad. Um, so yeah, players coming back, which is good. Uh, Cessna Young will still be injured. And Deli Alli will still be injured. And Juan Foyf will still be injured. So we'll be without them. But yeah, this is the team I'm going to go with. When I do these team sheets, I think of oh, how Pochettino is going to think and what's happened in the last team sheets. Um, so let's go into this team sheet. And I'm bearing in mind the North London Derby next Sunday. Speaking of the North London Derby, there will be a preview coming out next Thursday, I believe. And I will have Ashley with me. He should be with me because um, he's an Arsenal fan, so we can both talk about it. And have a bit of a competitive preview, although it won't be competitive because uh, this is me and I don't shut up. So, the Spurs team sheet I'm going with today, uh, you can see it's a 4-3-3. Uh, in goal, your usual suspect, you know, Hugo Lloris, fantastic against Man City and uh, making his 301st appearance. I didn't realise it was his 300th appearance. The fullbacks, um, we're going to go with Danny Rose and Carl Walker-Peters again. Walker-Peters, who has played amazing, I think. Um, I'm still a bit weary of him, but he's played amazing. He's still got lots of improving to do, like Pochettino said. Uh, but he's doing well, playing at right back for the time being. Danny Rose is Danny Rose, really. I'm so, so glad he, we haven't let go of him. At the back, now, um, it's been speculated that there could be a bust-up between Vertonghen and Pochettino. Um, but I think it's just down to fitness maybe. I'm really not sure. I think it could be fitness. He's getting on a bit, but he's a brilliant centre-back. Um, and I think looking ahead to the North London derby, he has to start, get him a bit of match fitness in the Premier League. So I'm going with Alderweireld and Vertonghen at centre-back. Yes, I am. Uh, like I have in all the predictions, Sanchez has started alongside Alderweireld at the moment. But I think it's going to be them two at the back thinking ahead to the North London Derby and match fitness in the Premier League. Now, thinking ahead to the North London Derby, um, in the middle, the middle three, I'm going to go with Winks in front of the defence, and I'm going to go with Ndombele and Eriksson in the centre midfield roles, meaning that Sissoko and the Celso are going to be on the bench for this game. Um, I think Sissoko has the stamina, but I think he's the most pivotal in a big game against Arsenal. Uh, you know, he can drive forward, he can come back. Ndombele is Ndombele, really. He is Sissoko and Eriksson. I think he needs to get the mindset for Tottenham back. Now, up front, um, someone has to be dropped. It has been Sissoko, so up front, we're going to be going with Lucas Moore on the right, Shingling Son on the left, and up front, 
Harry Kane. Lucas has to start, Son has to start, Kane has to start. Them three are guaranteed starters for me, along with Oliver Old, I think, and Lloris, obviously. But that front three, I think, is deadly. You know, we want to compete with the top two. We need that front three. You know, you look at uh, Liverpool, they've got pace on the wings, and Man City, they have a good front three as well. So uh, if we want to take that next step, I think this has to be the team week in, week out, similar to this. Um, maybe Winks and Sissoko swap, or Endombele and Sissoko. The, the three in midfield will swap because you've got Deli Ali and Lo Celso coming in. Uh, Walker Peters won't play, I think it'll be Foyth or Aurier uh, further down in the season. But that's a team for the Newcastle game. Uh, it's going to be enough to get the three points. As I said the other day in the predictions video, I'm going with a 4 0 Tottenham win. Um, I think we're just going to have too much for Newcastle, really. Newcastle were just shit. They are so shit. Hyunming Son, I think he'll get two goals on his first game. He needs match fitness, he has to start, he needs to be sharp for the Arsenal game um, coming up next week. Um, Son to score, Kane to score, and Lucas Moura to score. Them three are going to be on fire this weekend, I can feel it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was a bit short because Newcastle were Newcastle. I can't really speak much about them. But yeah, there won't be any vlogs coming out anytime soon. Maybe a Champions League one, I'm not sure yet. But um, in terms of the Premier League, there won't be. Carabao Cup, there might be. I will try and go to them. Because uh, I, I want to see my team. I just can't get them because the tickets are going so quick. And the queue system is bullshit. I mean, I'm, I'm not fussed. It saves me money. But I am fussed because I want to go and see my team. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and yeah, I will see you with Philip, hopefully, on Sunday for the Carabao Cup Round 2 predictions. Goodbye.